it's time to work on my own game. Let's work on the forehand. My forehand is personally not my strongest shot, but it's something I'm looking to improve upon. This video is gonna be all about the breakdown of my forehand and a few exercises to help you guys. In particular today, we're gonna to focus on two key areas. The first one is when the ball comes down the center of the court, I need to make sure I'm more stable and getting out of the way with my feet. The second aspect is going to be on the short balls, making sure I step down the court, not waiting for the ball to come to me. As you can see on one of the forehands, I missed when my body was falling off to the side. This was because I was slightly off balance and I wasn't grounded with my legs and making sure I was secure when hitting. An exercise that I'm going to work on is making sure that if the ball is coming down the center, I'm going to take that drop step and be a bit more secure with my left leg as I'm left-handed prior to striking. What you'll notice from here is I'm going to practice the split step and drop step. This is going to help me to not only coil my shoulders but set my legs in a position before striking. On that forehand in particular with the video, I was hitting as I was falling, so I was not balanced. Another thing to remember is that if you're more upright and you're hitting, your body's going to slightly falter. If your legs are a little bit more secure and grounded, you can see that it's harder for me to then pull and lean off because I have a sturdier base. In one of the second videos, I had a short ball down the line and I missed it into the net. On this forehand in particular, I was not able to move up fast enough to the ball. What I need to do is make sure that I step down the court and transfer my weight forwards down the court. If I don't transfer my weight forwards, what's gonna happen is that I'm relying on my hand skills and just using my arms only by itself. Specifically, I need to work on stepping out, moving in, taking the ball on, and the rise. So I do not wanna let that ball drop. Taking the ball on the rise means you want to try to hit the ball just before it's reached its peak height. Meaning you wanna hit the ball either there or at the apex, you do not want to hit the ball as it's dropping because therefore once the ball starts to drop, you're going to be hitting at a lower contact point below the height of the net. The goal is to be hitting the ball at the peak or on the rise where the ball is slightly higher than the net. I'm going to start by standing over a little bit wider, pretending I had a wide forehand. If the ball comes more central, I'm then going to drive the ball. And as you can see, what I'm trying to focus on is keeping my body more stable. Drop step, stable, hit. Ah. Something that you guys can do to take away something from this exercise is making sure as you're taking your drop step, you're nice and stable with your legs prior to striking. Stable. Hit. That was okay. That's the one. Light on the toes. Switching around. Also notice what my racket head is doing. How I'm trying to prepare a little bit earlier. Racketing up nice and high. One more. Let's go. What I'm gonna focus on is making sure I'm stepping down the court, taking the ball above the net at the apex. It's very important that I'm not waiting for the ball because the ball's gonna then drop really low. If the ball were to drop really low, it's a lot harder for me to get under the ball and drive up. So taking the ball at the right height, it's very important. When I'm stepping down the court, I wanna be making sure that my back leg is gonna help me to load and shift down the court. On the last forehand you may have seen, I was hitting and I was stretching and reaching. I didn't really activate my big muscles in my legs to deliver through my shots. Let's give it a go. So step up to it before striking. Step up. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I personally enjoyed working on my own game. I have not worked on it for a long period of time. I would love to hear your thoughts as well in the comment section below. And if you would like to see more videos just like this of myself training or somebody else through video analysis, let me know.